Oh, hello peeps. I'm just going to be uh, doing a demo video on how to set up this uh, F1 Challenge All Seasons mod because there's um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to set up properly. So just the, the I think for this one you need to kind of have your wheel configured from your Logitech or whatever you use. Uh, I'm using this, forget what it's called. Uh, is it here in the options? G29. So... All I've got is the uh, wheel and the pedals. I don't have a shifter. Don't really need it for F1 most of the time. So sensitive 50%. Uh, 260 degrees seems to work best for what I'm doing. No centering spring. That's that's your starting point for the pedals. Um, I took the rubber out of the brake. It's actually a spring that I'm using. Uh, well, yeah, there's no rubber in it, so it's. Uh, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to that kind of thing. Now, yeah, so I have it installed here in my external drive in the root. I think generally you always want it installed in the root drive there, uh, or you might run into some issues. I don't think you want to install your F1 challenge into your program files. You can run into some problems with that. Now, as you can see, it's pretty big once it's all fully installed, 90 gigs. So that's why it's, that's why it's on my external, not on my M2 or anything like that. Um, Okay, so yeah, so to get started, you want to set this one as run as admin. You can see there. That's run as admin. And I think also these two need to be set as run as admin. Uh, there's the password um, pr program you get. You have to email the dude for it. And then I've got it set, set to run as admin as well, so. You just run that in here, I believe, and it fixes up, gets it to run properly. So let's just fire it up, I guess. So there, you need to go, yes. All right, now there's no music. Normally it plays music. Uh, I just disable it in the mixer. You can see it's trying to play, but it won't. Um, I've been doing season 98, 1988. Now, I think when you first start off, you want to, first thing you want to do is do the config. I'm going to assume you knew how to install it and all that. And it's updated to 21.0, the latest version as of uh, December 2021, I believe. You might have made an update, I don't know. There's still like tons of updates going. You set your widescreen here, two. So then you do. You oh, there you go. Okay, then you do the config. I don't know what this actually means, but it's on three apparently. Windowed mode off. You can run in windowed mode actually. Um, I think it's actually better in windowed mode, but I seem to not have that set up at the moment. You can have the game run in the background. Um, you have to. What you have to do basically is map your pause button to a button on your controller, and then when you minimize in windowed mode. You can then press the unpause button and your game will actually run in the background. So it is possible to do that for those who are curious. Um, you don't want to run in 16 bit. The game won't start up. I think you have to run it in 32 bit. I think in the original F1 challenge, you also need to run it in 32 bit or it won't run properly. The, the LCD won't run, work properly. So the 32 bit, turn off the benchmark. You don't need to run that. I don't know about vertical sync. I always seem to have it off. I don't know if it works with 32 sync on. So those, that's your basic config. And then what you want to do is just run your season. Make sure to get all the files started up. Now, the first time you run it, it'll take freaking ages to start up. Like, even starting it up for the first time for me takes like five minutes. So I have to start it up to kind of warm things up. Uh, then after that, it should only take a minute or so to start up. Uh, you make your driver there, obviously, and that creates your driver file. Uh, so in this case, here's my driver file. Uh, I don't need to reload this or just save it as it is. Um, yeah, there's your save file. So if you start made a file in 1988, you go to Formula 1 save 1988, uh, player name, and this is your player options. Uh, advantage options is here. So once you've set it up how you like it and set up your controls and everything, say you've been doing season 1988 and you want to copy it over to all the other seasons, just Copy video options, type in your driver name, and then you can copy everything over from 1988. Uh, it should take a couple seconds, and done. You do that for video options, rules, controller, 
these are extra options. Formation lap, you generally never want to turn it on because if the cars crash in the formation lap, the race will never start, so that's bad. I don't even know what that is. I think it's like a lap before the race or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, just to kind of... I have no idea. I never use it. Pit crew push. If you run out of fuel in the pit lane, your pit crew can push you to your uh, box. But I have no idea if that actually works. I've never tried it, but it's turned on. I don't have a hate shifter. AI control. If you go into a pit lane, the AI will take over. If You, you can turn that off here, which is how I prefer it. you got to pit yourself, obviously. Self in review. Uh, if your wing and tires show up in the review mirror, which I turned on... Sometimes you need to adjust your mirror in the graphic settings so it's not a huge, so you can actually see anything. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Unlock pit cam. Uh, you will stay in your chosen view once you enter pits, which is good with this. So I have my pit cam unlocked as well. Not sure what this is. I think, um, I think AI can kind of modify their own setups or something. I have no idea. Specific setups for AI vehicles, yeah, I'm not sure. I guess it uses generic, there can be generic setups, like, I don't know. Inclination angle, I think that's the camera tilt. Basically, where your horizon is, I don't know, I think, I'm just guessing. And just multiply, I don't have. This text file's changed, I've already got a setup how I like it, so I'll just leave it there. So that's your advanced options. So you've done your config, your advanced options. And that's all that. So, yeah, then after that, you can go into your uh, player file. And this is where you can manually change things however you want them. There's your driving aids, nothing too crazy. Uh, I've turned everything off. I think auto clutch might be useful. Oh, no, actually, no, that's, um, that's off. If you have a clutch, you'll want that off, I think. Uh, so you can start, you can use your clutch when you're going out of pits or when you're starting the race. Generally, those are the only times you need it. I think maybe auto lift, I'm not sure. Auto blip I've turned on. If it's off, I believe, uh, generally, it's you don't notice it, but when you're going shifting from second to first, your car can get a bit rowdy if you don't blip when you're downshifting. That, I think, does it automatically. That's the only thing I have on because I'm not, not a, I haven't done any, any hill to, I don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> auto reverse. Um, I think if your car spins and you're going backwards, it'll automatically flick it into reverse. You can stall if you, if you don't hold your clutch down, obviously. I've got the super high physics on. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it does. Uh, tire sampling, also super extra hat samples. Um, basically, it makes the curbs a bit more dangerous, I think. I, haven't, I don't really... It doesn't matter either way, I don't think. Mechanical failure rates. These are all normal settings that are on like just the the, the the GUI I've got my maximum sounds to 12 I don't think you need more than that probably do less if you want min amounts of pause I've got it to one second it's normally set on two I think I have no idea if it's going to make things better or not I've turned off music you can do this all in the menus that's all default, I think. There's your broadcast HUD and your normal HUD. Um, if you turn these off, you can also you also lose your uh, pit notification and your low fuel notification, I think. So you want to be careful with that. You make sure to check those. There's your self in review again. Sparks from vehicle collisions. I've put that on. I just turned it on. I don't know how good it is. I think this, you can also mess with that. I think I've got it on default only. Or, I'm not sure, it's on number three. There's no three there. I think most of this is default. Oh, just a little bit of head physics. I actually just turned it on. I don't know what it does, actually. I think I'll turn that on. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that does either. <laughs> I 
I think I should. I think I should be off. Actually, I don't know. I might have done something stupid there. Um, Drive the strength. I've got it at ninety. A hundred, I believe, should be like real, real low, real world strength. Now I've modified these here. These ones, I think. Now these actually seem to. If you modify these, I believe you can actually make your the drivers go a little bit faster on the first lap. That's what I've noticed anyway. So. This is just how much fuel they use, but these ones here, brake power, brake grip, corner grip, I think you can get some nice results if you crank them up just a little bit. Player cut equal, I'm not sure what that is, but I turned it off. This one's interesting. Apparently, I've read, I haven't tried it, but I've read that if you turn that on, it randomizes the uh, the player skills, what they are or something, so you'll get different race results. Not sure what that is. That might be that they adjust the setup themselves or something. Might be worth messing around with. I'm not sure about it. Same here, AI setups, AI realism. That's uh, it's not. I think that's aggressiveness. I've, you got to set it a little bit low to prevent them from just destroying each other. I think it normally has a default setting, uh, and I messed around with it a bit, and I made a mistake, and then I think it's normally around 45-ish, but you can always set it however you want. Normally these are set to 3 seconds, vehicle removal, if a vehicle gets stuck, or you know damaged and it just sits there, it normally gets removed after 30 seconds, uh, 3 seconds, so I've moved it up to 30, because you can just see them like pop away out of existence. So. It's all set. Debris and parts hang around for 30 seconds before removing. This flips cars upright if they flip over, but it's probably better than not having it, I guess. What else have I changed? And that's about it there. Force feedback. This is all just controls. Okay, so this is your terrain in Formula 1 season data circuits terrain.ne. There's only one change I made here. Spark effects here. Oh, they've changed it back. It's supposed to be, I've changed it from three seconds to one second. And this one, I just make it uh, 0 0 0.5, 0.5, 0.5. Um, it makes the sparks less weird looking because the sparks are a bit weird in this game. Everything else I think is fine. I might have, some settings might have gone back, but no, it looks fine to me. Anyway, so that's that. That's your settings. Movies. Uh, I just created a folder called 99999 to put it at the bottom here, and then I just, yeah, what did I do? There's supposed to be, there's an EA, there's an EA intro and EAS, uh, I don't know where they went. I think I might have deleted them or moved them into 999 and it deleted itself. But anyway, that gets rid of the intro videos if you don't want them. Game starts up a lot faster with less hassle. All right, that's pretty much everything there. One more thing. Oops. Oops. Uh, what do I even have here? Nothing. Okay. So there's a... There's an auto hot a program called Auto Hotkey. I made an overlay thingy, which is really nice actually, because uh, sometimes if you want to input display, this is a script I kind of downloaded off the internet and modified it to work for my controller. Here's what I have set up. And now when I run it, I, I don't have the, the wheel because you can obviously see the wheel in the game, but there's throttle, brake, clutch. It's really cool. Also got a little clock feature thing. Uh, it's called... Um, DS clock. Yeah, it's, That's really nice, actually. If you have your taskbar hidden all the time. So, F1 Challenge VB... 
Oops, now I've got two open. Um, yeah, so we've been doing 1988, so we'll just stick with that. Do all the defaults, race 16 for Australia. I don't know what that changes, probably just liveries. But probably best not to mess around with it. So it can look like it's doing nothing. Sometimes it will sit like this for five minutes, nothing happening. Um, but you just gotta, you can check the task manager and see if it's still doing its thing, if they still have a VB challenge in there. So you just sit around and wait for it to start up. Should, shouldn't take too long, I hope. Yeah, now, now it's all warmed up, so it should start quicker. I removed the intro video, so it will just go straight into the game, I think. Clock is still there. Oh, my input display is gone because I'm not in windowed mode. But that's alright, I'll fix that for the race. So, you can set your dude, uh, uh, yeah, set your car here, McLaren for 1998. So, no, he was Brazilian, so I just set Brazil. This is really cool, telemetry. I don't think there'll be anything there, but it pops up in a new window. If you've done a race, and you can go through all kinds of crazy ass shit there. It's ridiculous. This is really nice. Proper liveries and all that. Alright, I gotta go through the options now. So, here's your display option. I don't know why that's set to 104. <laughs> that might be default, I don't know. Racing groups. These can all be on like this high, full, 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 full high. I don't think there's any issues there. Um, maybe for some of the really old seasons, like 1950s, you might have to mess around with these. Additional display details are here. Uh, there's one thing you really got to be careful of, and that's uh, vehicle likening effects. It doesn't seem to work on high. It has to be on low, apparently. It crashes on high. It works on low. So keep an eye on that one if you're having trouble. Shadows, maybe in some cases you need to turn them off uh, for some seasons. I'm not sure. And I think pit crew, sometimes the game in some seasons will crash if you um, activate the pit. In which case you need to turn that off as well or turn it to low or something. I don't know. Everything else seems to be okay for now. But it's hard to say. Uh, and broadcast overlay and heads up display. There's one important thing to know. And that is if you turn one of these off, I'm not sure which, you also lose your pit indicator. And you'll, I think you also lose your low fuel indicator. So that's kind of a pain. But there's probably a way around it. But I haven't messed around with it that much yet. Yeah, 12 sounds, high. That, you can turn that down, obviously. This guy will just constantly talk in your ear. So I've turned the voice down a bit. Music's off, don't need that. Rules, however you want. Don't mess with the AI drivers. Starting last, 10%, that's 7 laps in Adelaide. Um, so controls is kind of important too. Accelerate, steering, yep, brake, clutch. If you Sometimes you really need to mess around with this. Sometimes there can be a dead zone on this, I have no idea why. Um, if you Sometimes it will like set, think that you have a 50% dead zone or something. So just, that's fine. Just make sure you test, make sure it's linear and doing okay. You might have to like keep <laughs> keep configuring it. It's annoying as hell. This brake, I removed the, the rubber, so it's a bit weird. It saturates quickly. I don't know. And then the clutch, whatever. We don't need to mess around. Just, yeah, just keep in mind, uh, sometimes this thing is fiddly and it'll, it will set your pedals wrong. Like if you have your pedal held down, and then you lift up, it'll invert, for example, just like that. But there, that seems to be fine. Oh yeah, and there's another important thing to know. LCD, set that to a keyboard. Uh, if you set it to um, buttons on your wheel, it'll go nuts and like go really fast and you won't be able to set fuel however you want it. You have to set it to a keyboard. The hell is that? I don't even know. Why do I have curves? That digital you don't need, that's for controllers. Speed sensitivity, I believe that is how much your sensitivity changes depending on how fast your car's going. 
So if you're driving slowly, the sensitivity goes up, I think. So it's for like, if you need to go around a hairpin or if you're doing pit pitting stuff, uh, it's, it's at 75, I'm not gonna mess with it. There's your head physics, I guess. Controller one, that's the only controller I'm using. So I think sensitivity 50 is linear. It seems to be, I'm not sure. Um, gotta keep it, make note of the axes. I've only got accelerator and I think brake linear, clutch, who cares. Dead zones is 0%. If you have decent quality uh, hardware, you should be fine there. Force feedback, wheel, full. Now this is a touchy, <laughs> this is funny as well. This can set in inverse, inverted. If it's like that, I think it'll be inverted for you. Your force feedback will be inverted. It's really weird. So you want to set it there. I don't know why it's like that. Strip. This is these are recommended settings I found somewhere on the internet. I've got no idea. But they seem to work well enough. Just copy however you want. Mess around with it. Yeah, and that's everything I think. Bloody twenty minutes just to explain the basics, but um, that's that. And uh, I'll do a demo race next, just for fun. Alright, hey guys, um, so I got the windowed borderless going with this, borderless gaming. I'm pretty sure you should know what that is. There we go. And I got my overlay there. That's great. And you can also, if you, you can tab out and then if you hit the pause button while you're tabbed out, the game will run. It can be handy for practice. If you're waiting for everyone else to do their thing. So Adelaide, the closing race of 98, 88, I mean, um, they went all the way to, I think, 95 or 96. Then it went to Melbourne and Melbourne opened. Both circuits pretty good, in my opinion. Adelaide's actually quite challenging, I find. Lots of 90 degree corners. Hello there. Oops, I forgot to unload petrol. Ah, well, the weather, what you do? as so often is the case here, is just oh, wonderful. So that's pause, and there's my... Yeah, that works fine. If you do it on the wheel, it'll, go, it'll spaz out. There'll be, like, no limiter on there. It'll just be impossible to select your tyre. Track looks really nice. Whoever designed it, I don't know who designed it, or if it was ported over or what. But it looks good. Alain Prost was consistently faster than his teammate. He starts first. Terry Boltzen. So the uh, the mod designer Nelson Piquet did the voices. But take what you can get, eh? All right. First gear, and I'm not good at this. I always get rammed. But I'm at the back, so that's kind of a blessing. I think this is turbo, don't quote me. Um, I don't think it's, I don't know if F1 Challenge is able to simulate turbos. Oh my god, what the hell was that? That was ridiculous. I think my suspension is going to be gone. Yeah, suspension is gone. Alright, let's try again. They get three goes. Four laps, five laps, I don't know. But I'm carrying 11 laps of fuel, that's a bit ridiculous. Look, nearly stopped. funny when you can stall out the car and then it because you hit the brakes and lock them up and then you spin them again and it starts the engine again. Uh, I 
think I've taken, I took like three knocks there, so I'm just going to see if the suspension's still good. I think it's okay. You get real gradual on those, on those corners. Or you'll just spin and then you won't be going anywhere. Alright, I'm at the back. You know you're at the back when you see that car. A little bit of a not very sportsman like move there. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'm not sure what revs I'm on, can't hear a thing. Let's see. First gear is always a bit challenging, going down into first, I find. Everything else is not so bad. That was ridiculous. I need pays to take that on the inside. Alright, well I've fought hard for 17th. See what we can do. Oops, that's not how you do that. This one can be hard to judge, you can just go freaking straight on into those tyres if you're not careful. Look at all these right angles, it's ridiculous. Third. Oh. Pretty interesting design, lots of curbs and you can just fly over. <laughs> Here we go out into the main straight. You want to carry a lot of speed there. Alright, I'm not doing so great, but at least we should finish. So you start off hard and then you kind of ease off as the brakes warm up. Gotta be careful here. This one, yeah, if you do it wrong, you can just fly straight into those tyres. And then you're done. This one you can, you're on the throttle, but you can't go full on, so it's quite an interesting balance there. And these older cars, they're heavy, their aero is not as good, I think. Oops, jeez, I'm doing that again. <laughs> Yeah, they do a lot of sliding because they're I think because they're heavy they got big engines. Jesus. I think I'm still okay for suspension, but don't know for how much longer. And I accidentally caused an accident. Oh hey. I've got this lap and next lap. See if we can do something with it. The pack's probably spreading out by now, so... Don't know how many positions I'll realistically be able to get. That was a bit crazy. Anyway, this is just a preview, like, I'm not going to be good here. This is a preview for maybe later when I do this properly. Everything's all kind of set up nicely. I'm not sure what year I'll start on, I think 1988 is probably the best to start. 1980 was like way too long ago. <laughs> But yeah, this mod does fucking everything from 1950, so... I even did a bit of 1950, let me tell you, Spa is a long track. They had some weird tracks back then, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, and Manaka was fucking suicidal. Man. Went into the river more than a few times. Uh-oh, going too fast. 
think we'll survive this race somehow. So yeah, 16th, not much to be proud of there, but uh, the first step is finishing the race. So. Oops, yeah, I'm terrible. I can't hear the revs at all, so I'm just in completely wrong gears. Whatever, we finished the race. That's the that's the important bit. Now I just got to do fucking ten times more of these. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, 18th it is. So now we just uh, we do our in lap, victory lap, or the shame lap, I guess, in my case. Everyone's doing their lap. See, this is because you turn off the AI control, so you can just go do your little victory thing. <laughs> that in 10 minute race, eh? Not bad, not bad. That was only like 5%, so you gotta do like that 20 times for a full race. I can barely manage 5 laps without crashing into something. I don't know why I'm still trying to overtake people, that's silly. Oh, I guess I can overtake him now. Yeah, my car is clearly more powerful, but uh, the driver unfortunately is not. So much racing on the edge, like trying not to spin the whole thing, it's ridiculous, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. You gotta, your brain's gotta adapt to the force feedback, that's the first thing. Whoops, shit, we're going to pits. There's a speed limit too, I think. And we are here. How you doing? Oh, With the race good enough. <laughs> good thing that wasn't a proper pit stop, eh? Wow, everyone, what the hell, everyone finished, that's ridiculous. Capelli. That, like, almost never happens. <laughs> 18th. Uh, well, I beat four people. <laughs> anyway, that's how that goes. So let's, uh... Shut up. Let's look at the... Why is there no telemetry? That's a bit unusual. Normally there is. I don't know why it's not happening this time around. Oh, there might be, like, a... Permissions problem. Mm, normally it's there. I don't know what happened. So, that's the end of that race. How about now? Will the telemetry work now? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you get that working. It worked for me last time. I'm not sure what's wrong with it this time around. And my hot lap was saved in the race. So, now, this records the whole race. Uh, you, I think it automatically records your fastest lap at any point. So it's already better than Codemasters shit. And revolutionary feature. You can fast forward, slow motion, pause, and you can seek any part of the race at any point. It's crazy, man. It's, like, it's alien technology. Look at this. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Um, maximize there. There's your thingies. Page down is broadcast mode. Whoops, I think I'm in fast motion. Ah, oh, just normal motion, I don't know. Um, so that's page down, page up, is that. That would have got home, does these views. Look at that, brilliant. Uh, and doesn't do anything, insert, it's your cockpit views. And you can, all, of course, change driver. No dramas with that. Uh, you can go back to this view. Uh, and you can see who you're watching. There's, I think there's hotkeys for all this. You can set bookmarks. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like... Where's me? There. There's me again. Um, broadcast view. Um, look at that sliding. That is insane. Love that. It's 
this right? Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. And, okay, and here's something really cool. You can use arrow keys. So up, arrow down, slow motion. Look at that, revolutionary. Oh my god. How did they even do this? see your mistakes in slow motion. Uh, right arrow for fast forward, left arrow backwards. Tap up, tap down. It's just like, oh my god. This was in 2003, I think. And of course, seek button. Yeah, it's just insane. This game, yeah, it's uh, I'm not, I'm not like knocking, uh, well I am, but uh, but uh, Codemasters games are okay, like uh, they're like more of a complete package. You know, I, I still play, I like F1 2020, it's fun, but uh, this is like full on simulation shit, <laughs> it's really good. And too bad my telemetry is not coming up because uh, I must have like have a permission issue or something. It was coming up for me before, but then what happened? This is amazing. You can save all your races, no no dramas. It's all there. Let's see what uh cross. It's just, just I'm not sure how the cycling goes. I think there's a hotkey for all that as well, but um There's cross flying around. Look at that slide. Oh my god. Look at them kicking out like that and then sliding in, man, that's amazing. Anyway, um... Fast forward, look at that, you can just... And there's them going into... It records everything, like, after the lap, after the race and everything. So now they're all just going to go into the pits. No fixed cameras, you do whatever you, whatever you want. You want that one? Do that one. Here he is. There he is in the, in the garage. It's ridiculous, man. And this is fixed, <laughs> you can, if you... This is like spectator view. If you like switch to a crashed car, it'll just be a fixed camera view, which is kind of fun sometimes. It's a little bit of a just a glitchy thing. Let's try the telemetry one more time. It's just not working. I don't know what happened. Do I need to load it or? I don't know. What did I do? Wish I could get that working. Eh, it's probably just a small thing to fix up. Anyway, it all works, man. Windows 10, no no problem at all. Um, yeah, so that's F1 Challenge All Seasons. I'm thinking about doing more on this. Uh, I kind of suck, though, as you could probably tell, so I don't know if I'd be any good, <laughs> but I guess some something's better than nothing. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys around.